So one of the terms that everyone is talking about now that you'll certainly hear if you're in the cancer world is this term NGS. What does NGS mean? What NGS stands for is next generation sequencing, but it's used uh, with a lot of different terms, right? So if somebody says, have you done molecular testing on your tumor? Have you done genomic profiling on your tumor? Have you checked for targetable or actionable mutations? This is all in the same bucket of this NGS concept. And this concept is an extremely important one. And let me tell you why. Because when we look at cancers, a lot of times the first thing you know, patients want to know is, well, what kind of cancer is it? And you have an idea of kind of how that cancer behaves, right? Prostate cancer is kind of a different you know, reaction than pancreatic cancer. And the reason is, is because they do behave in similar ways. So the way we treated it for that reason was generalizing them by their tumor type right? And the chemotherapy regimens were saying, hey, we know the behaviors of some cancers like lung or ovarian are different than the behaviors of prostate or other things, colon cancer. The way you think of it when it relates to chemotherapy and, and doing it by the place where the cancer originated is like in a grocery store, right? You have different aisles and you have an aisle that basically has, you know, your flour and baking soda and stuff. I don't do too much cooking, but then you have an idea of that versus the aisle, which has all of your drinks, for example, and your juices. Each aisle is kind of where the cancer originated. What NGS and molecular testing is, is looking at let's see if there's something more specific on the aisle itself. So you're looking at the actual you know, jar of, of pickles rather than being on the entire aisle. And that is a level of far more basically detail when it relates to a cancer than it is in a generalized chemo way. Now, is chemo necessary? Absolutely, especially in the curative sense. It's very effective because it helps kill cells that replicate fast by basically poisoning the process of replication. But targeted and molecular therapies are extremely promising because they help especially in those stage four and metastatic settings. When you have cancer, basically, that's in multiple places. So how do you attack something in multiple places when obviously you have good tissue there as well, right? Surgery, radiation, all of those things are great for one area, but you can't radiate the whole body. You can't resect the whole body. Molecular therapy targets the drivers, that's another term, that help these cancers grow and replicate. If we can see which of those on switches or tools that our normal cells have, that your whole life, your normal cells use to sometimes have to grow a little bit more if you're like running or doing a marathon in certain muscles versus, you know, be chill, these cancers manipulate those with mutations and they get stuck on an on position. One of the ways that we learned this in a big way was with HER2 positive breast cancer. These cancers were super aggressive and they just like grew really fast, right? And it was because of this HER2 uh, switch. That was the tool. Well, guess what? There's all of these drugs that now attack specifically the mechanism which made that cancer so bad to begin with. And now we see amazing complete remissions and almost to the point of expectation when we target that specific you know, driver, the driver mutation. When you are sequencing your tumor, what they're doing is taking basically that tissue that you have, that that pathologist looked, stained it, saw kind of where it came from, and then you send it off. Almost every health insurance company will cover this, and a lot of the sequencing places will actually you know, pay for it in a stage four setting if you have difficulty paying. And the reason is, is because they know what a difference it makes in cancer control. Then in 10 to 14 days, when they've really split that you know, tissue up and saw, okay, it has this, it has that. Hey, here are all of the FDA approved therapies that we know with trials, because we thought we found the target. We think we know that HER2 is something that's driving it. We think we attacked it effectively. And then we did trials to say, sure enough, it works. You'll get a list usually with the FDA approved therapies. The challenging thing that keeps me up as an oncologist is there's a whole bunch of other ones that right now drugs are being studied and in some circumstances extremely effective that aren't FDA approved. That is also available on most all, all NGS sequencing or genomic profiling. When you have that, that is when you have truly all of the options on what exists that can help treat my tumor. That's why at Xcures, what we want to do is regardless of where you live, we want to be able to take all of those you know, mutations that potentially could help control your cancer and use AI technology to query what are all the things under investigation, as well as FDA approved, that may relate to attacking that tumor specifically. It's a free service that basically enables the patient, as well as the doctor, to know the things that are quote unquote under investigation, or even in the long-term way, 
see and identify the mutations that need to be studied in the future for our kids, right? And, our, and the people generations before. If there's mutations that keep you from having a therapy be effective, you can recognize that only when you find a bunch of different people that says, aha, let's spare them those six weeks of seeing if it works because we know now that somehow makes that therapy not work. All of this is extremely important. It's the way we're going basically in the future with cancer therapies. And if you have not gotten your NGS or genomic profiling, strongly consider talking to your oncologist about it. And if you want to be able to query all the drugs under investigation, then xcures.com will provide that for you under the patient portal, which we included the link below.